Hello, this is Tesla Travis in my mid-range Model 3, 2018 December. I just got Sentry Mode um, 219.5.4, so there's some new updates with it, so let's go over it. All right, these are the release notes with the new Sentry update. What's new with this update? Let's zoom in. Sentry Mode continuously monitors your car's surroundings while it's locked and parked. When enabled, the car automatically enters the standby state with its cameras and sensors remain powered to detect potential threats and trigger an appropriate response, alert or alarm. To enable sentry mode, go to control, safety, security, and sentry mode. If a minimal threat is detected, such as someone leaning on your car, sentry mode switches to alert state, displaying a message on your touchscreen indicating the cameras are recording. If a major threat is detected, such as someone breaking a window, sentry mode switches to alarm state. In this state, the car alarm activates. The audio system generates a loud and unexpected sound. The message on the touchscreen increases to maximum brightness, and you receive a notification on your mobile app. To save the video clip captured while in sentry mode, you must insert a formatted USB drive to one of your USB ports beforehand. Very important, beforehand. Sentry mode requires more than 20% battery to operate. If your battery falls below 20% while the feature is active, sentry mode turns off and you receive a notification on your mobile app. That's nice. That works good. Note that sentry mode is designed to enhance the security of your car but cannot protect the car from all possible threats. Well said. Also, the dash cam. So, dash cam can now record and store video footage captured by your car's side cameras in addition to the narrow forward camera. As usual, the dash cam icon will be displayed in the status bar with a red dot indicating that it is recording. Tap the icon to save 10 minutes video clips, 10 minute video clips, or press the hold to pause recording. Dog mode. Sounds like when somebody's really angry at you. I'm going to get in dog mode. Um, keep your dog comfortable in your car while letting people passing by know they don't need to worry with dog mode. In addition to keeping the climate on the touchscreen, we'll display the current cabin temperature. To enable dog mode, tap on the fan icon at the bottom of the touchscreen when your car is parked. So set keep climate on to dog. Make adjustments within restricted temperature limits, then leave knowing your pet will stay comfortable. Note, check all local laws and restrictions on leaving pets unattended in your car. True, there are many laws in different local places that you can't even leave them in the car. Um, blind spot warning chime. When making a lane change, you can now turn on an audible chime to warn when chime to warn you when a possible collision with a vehicle or obstacle is detected in your target lane. To enable blind spot Warning, chime, touch controls, autopilot, blind spot, warn, chime. Auto folding mirrors. I just turned this on and it does work. Auto folding mirrors based on location. So you can turn it on based on location um, and also at your house uh, if you have a uh, home link. So your garage door opens up and closes with home link. Um, if you have that enabled, you can turn the mirrors on to, uh, to also do that. Settings, when I click on garage door, you can see that auto fold mirrors with the garage door is turned on so that's nice when you come home because we have to squeeze in the garage we got two cars like right next to each other so it's really nice to have the mirrors automatically fold in so when we get out and have stuff in our hands we don't have to wait for the fears to the mirrors to fold themselves so that works good so on the settings we have safety and security and if we scroll down a little bit we see sentry mode which can be turned on before you leave the car you can also turn this on or off inside your app before or after you leave the car which is extremely convenient so that's a uh, feature update that you can forget to turn on sentry mode and if you're in a restaurant or when inside the house you can turn it on from your app and I've done it and it works great so that's another great update So I also noticed when you go on to safety and security to turn on sentry mode, 
and it's on before you leave the car. If you want to also turn on dog mode, it automatically turns off sentry mode when you turn on dog mode. If I go back to sentry mode, toggle, you can see that it's turned off and I cannot turn it on when it's in dog mode. So you cannot have dog mode and sentry mode on at the same time. Dog mode. So to turn on dog mode, you go down to the air and you switch it from off over to dog. And as far as the temperature, you can go all the way up to 77 or you can go well all the way down to 66. So those are the temperatures you can do. So we'll put it at a good 72 and it's set. And we have Daphne here. She's sitting. Hey, Daphne. <laughs> I'll get out of the car and we'll see if it turns on. Daphne, I'm not leaving you. Don't leave me. <laughs> There's dog mode. My owner will be back soon. 72 degrees. That's what it says on the screen. And there's my dog, Daphne. As you can see from my app, I have sentry mode turned off. I have the window rolled down here so that we can see the screen. A little clear, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on manually on the Tesla app. As I turn it on, nothing's come on on the screen. Nothing's happening while I'm moving. Let me walk around the car. Nothing's happened yet. I've walked all the way around the car, moved in front of the camera. Nothing's happened yet says it's on in the app. Okay, so I have sentry mode turned on in my garage. So now I'm coming out and we'll see if the screen turns on. And there it goes. Sentry mode. Sentry activated recording. Now I've noticed that sometimes when I walk out, when I set sentry mode and I walk away, it doesn't turn on right away. I think maybe you have to leave and come back um, out of the way of the cameras. I'm sure there's some settings in there where it doesn't just turn on right when you get out of the car. But um, I've done this a few times and the screen doesn't always turn on right away. I leave and I come back and then sometimes it turns on. So it will be interesting to see how that changes. Alright, as you can see on the screen we have our blind spot chime toggled on. So we're going to be driving down the road and if you look over here you can see my car and somebody in my blind spot as soon as I get in my blind spot I'm gonna turn on my blinker and see if I get a chime there's a car coming up here in a second as soon as it comes in my blind spot I'm gonna turn the blinker on there's no chime all right we'll try that again that was the quick blinker I'll turn on the steady blinker next car. As the cars were passing us by, I turned my blinker on the long blinker, and we did this a few times, and no chime. We did it on the right side, the left side, I toggled on and off the blind spot warning chime, and nothing. So apparently this still does not work in the newest update. Alright, so to recap, um, sentry mode seems to work fine. Uh, the cameras on the sides and the front camera are recording. Um, it seems that when you set sentry mode on, whether you do it from the car or the app, that um, it takes a little bit of time. Maybe you need to walk away and come back and then um, sentry mode screen turns on. Um, other times it turned on right away, so I saw some inconsistency with that. But maybe the car has some settings where it gives you a chance to walk away or something like that. Um, dog mode uh, seems to work good. It's just uh, you can't have dog mode and sentry mode on at the same time. So I guess the dog is the deterrent. Nobody wants to break into a car with a dog in there. Or do they? Um, what else? Blind spot warning. Doesn't seem to work. Um, I saw Raj's video and in his he turned on his blinker just like I did. And we got the red line but no chime. There's no chime at all. So that's still not working in the new update. Um, I tried uh, several times with the car in my blind spot. I tried turning the steering wheel towards the car with my blinker on. Um, I tried the half blinker. I tried the full blinker. Um, no chime at all in any of those situations. 
So I turned the setting on and off again and still the same result. So blind spot warning still not working. Um, again, this is uh, 219.5.4. So that's where we're at. Unless uh, there's something else, um, I think that's all the stuff. The folding mirrors, they work great on location. They work with Homelink and they work at location. So that's really good. So that's the latest update on the sentry mode, dog mode, uh, chime for the blind spot and the folding mirrors. <laughs> Take it easy.